Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to the Aspiring Authors Lab Morning Show. How's everybody doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Don't forget to hit the share button and share this broadcast out to your friends. And you remember our theme. Our theme for this month is, are you in the running for your millions? Are you in the running for your millions? That's something to think about. So for those of you who do not know me, I'm Gertrude J. Chapman, your number one book coach. And I have helped hundreds of women to be successful and generate revenue writing their books. And this is something that I could teach you also. I can inspire you to be intentional this year and write that book that you keep putting off, uh, you know, doing. And that's something we're going to talk about today. Why? One of the reasons why you might be putting off writing your book. But I started Turning Point Enrichment. After I was laid off twice, back to back. Do no fault of my own, okay? And this is well, this was during the housing crisis of 2006. I took what I once considered a hobby and I turned it into a viable business. You know, after people were asking me, well, Gertrude, how do you write your book? How do you be so successful, you know, when you put your books out here? I want to write books just like you. And so this is something that, you know, I totally enjoy. I totally enjoy teaching people how to write their books. And not only how to write their books, but how they book, how to make their books successful. Because, you know, just writing a book or writing words and putting them between two covers and calling it a book, you know, <laughs> that's not really success. Getting your book out there and into the hands of people who are looking for your information, who's waiting for your information, you know, that's success. When you can touch and transform lives, that is what success is all about, okay? So don't ever be afraid to, you know, to tell your story, to tell your story and to help somebody who's looking for information. Well, today we're going to talk about distractions. That's the subject today. And you might say, what are distractions? You know, distractions can be many different things. But I'm going to tell you, distractions are anything that keep you away from reaching your goals. That's what distractions are. You know, anytime you fail to plan your day and stick to the plan, you will be faced with a numerous number of distractions. And that's a given. Okay? Because there are many things. This is why, you know, you must have a plan and a strategy to reaching your goals each and every day. You know, many of you, you wake up with good intentions that, what, you're going to start working on your book or you're going to clean that closet or you're going to get rid of excess. And what happens? You find yourself, you know, putting it off until another day. Because something else caught your eye or something caught your attention. Now, distractions have a voice. They have a voice. And that voice is not only audible, okay? But it's silent as well. You know, something that's trying to pull you in another direction. And this is called simply being off focus. Now, I'm going to tell you, you can get a lot accomplished when you sit down and plan your day and strategize how you're going to reach each goal. Now, I'm going to tell you, we are extremely busy around here, okay? Extremely busy with meetings every day and all day, uh, company operations. You know, there's clients, there's products, there's marketing, and you name it, okay? But we get everything done before we call it a day. And why is this? Because we have a plan and we stick by that plan. Reaching your goal is essential. Okay? And planning is, you know, planning helps you to be able to reach those goals and most importantly, avoid bur uh, burnout. How many of you have ever been burnt out? 
You know, that's a terrible feeling. Being burned out before you even start. And you know, a lot of times that happens. And yo, know, this is real talk. This is real, real talk. You know, you had intentions about writing your book. But you burned out before you even start. And this is something that many, many people are faced with. But I want to tell you, thank you for joining me today, Kay. It's great seeing you out there. You know, you can't allow the time wasters to creep in and take over your valuable time. And distractions are time wasters. Okay? It's a time waster. And, you know, all of this comes with discipline. If you are determined to reach your goals, you have the tools to work with to complete your project. You have those tools. And I hope that this has inspired you and, and brought value for you to see the benefits of having a coach who can hold you accountable. You know, everybody needs a coach. Even the greatest football player has a coach. If you want to make it to the multiple streams of income, you need someone that can see what you can't see for yourself. You know, as a matter of fact, I'm a coach, but I have a coach, okay? I have a coach. And I'm going to tell you, my coach stretches me, you know, past myself. But you know what? I wouldn't have it any other way. Because it brings out things in me that I couldn't see for myself. It brings me in places where I'm just saying, wow, you know, and it is bringing me there. And it has brought me, you know, it has brought me there. And that's why everyone needs someone to see what they can't see for themselves. Okay. And to be honest and truthful. You know, I was in a meeting with a, a gentleman yesterday. And he was asking me certain things and I was telling him why I like meeting new people. And you know, one of the things that I told him was, I learned from them. Each time, you know, you meet somebody, you have an opportunity of learning so much, you know, if you don't close yourself off from what they are saying. And we're not talking about, you know, being in class or coaching or anything else, but just, you know, strangers, you learn so much from talking to people and, you know, just in the general conversation, you know, and I have learned so much just by listening, just by listening. Thank you for joining me today. So plan to be accelerated in your thinking. Plan to be accelerated in your thinking. And I hope that you hear what I'm telling you. Okay? Because that's a wild moment. That's a deep thought right there. Plan to be accelerated in your thinking. So let's talk. Come schedule a one-on-one -on -one virtual meeting with me to discuss how to get started writing your book. Or if you have already written a book and it's just sitting around not selling, let's talk. By going to bit.ly forward slash generate revenue 21. Again, that's bit.ly forward slash generate revenue 21. Don't allow distractions to keep you from reaching your goals. Schedule that virtual one on one meeting with me, bit.ly forward slash generate revenue 21. And I want to thank you for joining me today on the Aspiring Authors Lab Morning Show. Don't forget, share this information out with a friend, okay? And I look forward to seeing you the next time. Remember, this is your time. This is your season. This is your turning point. So have a great rest of the day.